Steve O'Brown with news that is changing the landscape of the entertainment industry. Disney already owns the rights to some of the most profitable movies we see on screen, like Star Wars and the Marvel movies, and now they're adding franchises like X-Men and The Simpsons to their roster. The Walt Disney Company is buying a huge chunk of 21st Century Fox in a $52.4 billion deal. It means a major asset boost. Disney will now control the rights to popular franchises like Avatar and The Simpsons, adding to their massive catalog. Over the last 11 years, the company has acquired Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilm. 680 News business editor Mike Eppel tells us this deal was likely driven by the need to compete with Netflix. This is a massive content play for Disney. You add the Fox television and movie studio properties along with well, already what Disney owns, whether it's Lucasfilm or Marvel or Pixar, and it's a massive content play when you have Disney set to launch their own streaming service to compete against Netflix sometime in early 2019. This could also be a move that gives the House of Mouse dominance in the future of film and television, so we might see its competitors work harder. This actually could make Disney competitors more active in the acquisition phase. Apple will be looking for content. Amazon will be looking for content. Do they buy uh, properties that aren't already owned by Disney? And you see further consolidation going forward. Buying 21st Century Fox's film and TV studios can also help Disney fulfill the dreams of many comic book fans. The sale gives Marvel, home to the Iron Man, Captain America, and the Avengers franchises, the ability to integrate characters like the X-Men and the Fantastic Four into future films. But don't celebrate just yet, X-Men fans. Fox still has three films in the franchise set for release in 2018. Super Size Me filmmaker Morgan Spurlock has publicly confessed to sexual misconduct, writing on Twitter that he is part of the problem. Spurlock reveals he was accused of rape when he was in college, although there was never an investigation. He also paid a settlement to his former assistant, who accused him of sexual harassment. Spurlock also opened up about his past, saying he was sexually abused when he was a boy and acknowledges being unfaithful to any serious girlfriends and wives. Spurlock says that by openly admitting these things, he hopes to become part of the solution. For City News, I'm Devo Brown.